The Sables Trust hosted a Sable Sponsors Evening where groundbreaking announcements were made. The highlight being a major investment made by Zurcher Resources, making them the title sponsor of the Sables. Portnix International will cover foreign travel, Canterbury will be sponsoring the kit, and Titan Law is investing in the revamp of Hartsfield Stadium. The hashtag for the Sables campaign is Eyes on the Prize, and award-winning artist John Prazer provided the new Sable soundtrack for their Rugby World Cup campaign. Representatives of the Zimbabwe Rugby Union stated that the organization will now be run in a professional and transparent manner, and the Sables Trust will look after the financial and logistical needs of the national men's side. The Zimbabwe Rugby Union and the Sables Trust are run by very experienced uh, technocrats. We have chartered accountants, successful lawyers, successful business people, top doctors, brand builders, name by a few. My job tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is a very simple task. It is one to assure you that you are in the cleanest, safest hands in the world of sport. Mr. Gerald Mlochwa, founder of Titan Law Firm, talks about the formation of the Sables Trust. Before the actual campaign started, we then sat down with the union and I said, oh guys, you know what, why don't we do things this way? Why don't you think about creating a special purpose vehicle? Because the union doesn't have any credibility at this point in time. And we use that as a vehicle to what? To mobilize support. And they thought it was a great idea. Uh, and it would be because I think there was like 17 bucks in the account. Um, the trust was created, uh, and there were three anchor sponsors that came on board. Zertu, ourselves, and Portnix. Zertu Resources, title sponsor for the Sables, talks about their expectations for Zimbabwe rugby. My name is Pei. I'm from Zertu Resources. We're one of the sponsors for rugby. Mm. And we are proud to be associated with the Zimbabwe Rugby Union. And I'd like to applaud Gerald and the team for coming up with the Zimbabwe Rugby Trust, which is a good thing for everyone because we want to have transparency in the sport and transparency, transparency in general in the country. Uh, I guess you're all wondering what we do. We're an exploration and mining company. We're based here in Harare. We've got presence in Joburg and Dubai. We're looking forward to getting into Luxembourg. We're also in Mauritius. And we look forward to the Sables going to 2019 World Cup. And we wish you all the best. Another sponsor, Portnix International, gives details on their commitment to the Sables. My name is Bricky. I'm from a company called Portnix. We're an international mining and commodity trading company. Uh, in South, Southern Africa, we specialize in metallurgical coal and uh, ferro alloy. Um, we play a small part, we help with the foreign travel arrangements, the flights specifically. Um, as you know, it's not easy to book foreign flights, um, and we, we help where we can to, to make it possible to bring the teams together. Um, I'm excited to hear that you guys are starting early. Um, I think uh, and we look forward to a, a successful season and, and good luck. Canterbury gives guests an insight into the making of the new Sables kit. So the design process going into the Zimbabwean jersey, for instance, you know, it does take time and unfortunately we won't be able to unveil anything tonight because it's quite a, a process, but we do take a lot of input from players, you know, we call it driven by insights. So, you know, we, we take a lot of advice from players, this works, that works, this doesn't work. So... I can almost say it's the spoke kit that we do make for rugby players. Every campaign needs a hashtag and vision to get behind. Tembi Kumalo reveals the communication strategy for the Sables. Our campaign position, eyes on the prize, and that is our hashtag for tonight's event. Hashtag eyes on the prize. For obvious reasons, because we want to motivate for that qualification to the World Cup. But also because we recognize that every engagement we get into has a prize. Your being here tonight with us is a prize. Your partnership with us will be a prize, and so on and so on. And so we want this uh, positioning statement to last and last way beyond this campaign. 
your opportunities. Headline sponsors, if you would like to put in a million dollars plus, that spot is yours. Top tier sponsors, between half a million and a million, and the high end sponsors, from 50,000 to half a million. If, like some of my colleagues here, your marketing manager is not kind and generous enough to be playing in this space, there's still lots and lots of other opportunities. The Sables need transport, they need fuel, they need bus and air travel, visa fees, lunches, dinners, camp, all kinds of sport equipment, medical aid, medicals, massages. Gerald Mlochwa returns to make a big announcement regarding the future of the Hartsfield Stadium in Blawayo. That's Hartsfield rugby ground. That's where Zimbabwe beat the All Blacks in 1949. Look at that. That is the only purpose-built stadium for rugby in this country. What we are going to do is tighten up and this will be spearheaded by Zimbabwe Rugby, the Matibelian Rugby Union, and the Sables Trust. Is a special purpose vehicle is going to be put together. That special purpose vehicle is going to take over the running of Artsfield. That special purpose vehicle will be owned by Zimbabwe Rugby, Matabeleland Rugby uh, Board, and the Sables Trust. They can agree on a shareholding. But the idea is to commercialize Hartsfield Rugby. Titan Law is a firm, will put in the money. It will be a hell of a lot. Um, my partners are not aware of this, so look. <laughs> if Titan Law ceases to exist tomorrow, please. <laughs> right, I have committed half a million to fix me right now. And happy. The captain of the Sables gives a vote of thanks and expresses gratitude towards the sponsors. Your sponsorship goes a long way. You have no idea what it has done to the Sables. The morale boost is very high, and the boys are willing to put their bodies on the line. I'm not saying they haven't done it before, but this year, this year, I can assure you that it's going to be different. And um, we want to bring back the, the nation's pride. Award-winning artist Ja Prazer has a special message for the team before playing Must Sables, the official soundtrack for the Sables campaign. Yo, 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 guys, yeah, this is my message to, uh, to the Sables, uh, the Zimbabwe national rugby team. Uh, I know you guys, you always make me proud, you always make the nation proud, uh, so I want you to go and represent and I'm gonna sim zamreza. Imi mwana zaguti makachika zuguta makachika mbamba ira zogato siana zogato siana. Alright, guys, wish you the best. Do your thing and do it the Zimbabwean way. Ama inda ona mudungwe we mamonya, vachi manya vachi buda mchikona, nazi kunandare hamena zadi zahon. Vamos a ir a Tanya Maya Magora, para o